Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Windows Server 2019 virtual machine on Google Cloud. Then we will see how to connect to VM which is hosted on GCP. I have connected to my Google Cloud console. See, on the desktop I have we create a VM and compute engine. If you are unable to find this, then click on Google Cloud. Then search here compute engine. Then click on it. See, at present I have one instance. Click on it. See, this is the instance which I created for RHL. This state is running. Go to VM instances. Then click on create instance. Here provide name as win server 2019 gcp1 it can be anything but it should be meaningful and the reason is by default it has selected us central central one if you want to change just click on it and change based on the region also the cost will be changed select the zone we have these zones in this region i'm going with the default one that is us central one a Next, machine configuration. We have general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, GPUs. If we change from general purpose to this, the cost will be increased. Let's click on compute optimized. See, here cost will be changed. Before it was $25. See, 129 If you go to memory optimized, it will be more than this compute optimized. See, it is in thousands. If we go for M1, it will be in hundreds at least. See, it is also in thousands. To go to GPUs, here we have to select different GPUs. It will be changed based on the options we have selected. GPU type and number of GPUs. If we go for GPU Tesla P100, It is higher okay go to general purpose here also we have different series and different cpus and memory the cheapest is e2 if you go for like t2a it will be faster also here t2 is not available in this region so select t2d this is slightly higher if you go for like c3 See, it is in hundreds. Okay. Now, I am going the cheapest that is E2. Next, when we selected here, it has selected machine types like instance sizes like shared core, standard, high memory and high CPUs. E2 micro is the least cost instance type. But for this demo, I am going with E2 medium. Based on requirement, you can select. Availability policies. I am going with standard. Next, VM provisioning model. Select migrate VM instance. Automatic restart. It's optional. The recommended is on. So I am not changing. Then here we have to change the boot disk. We have to change the image type. By default, it has selected Debian 11. Click on change. Click on here, then go to last, see here, it is Windows Server. Then we have the latest one, that is, we have the versions from Windows Server 2012 to 2022. But in this video, I am going to show you, install the Windows Server 2019 data center. By default, it has selected 50 GB. And boot disk type is balanced persistent disk. Click on select. Here the cost will be changed. See, its cost is $63 per month. Identity and API access. I'm going with the default one that is Compute Engine Default Service Account. Allow access, firewall, select both allow HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic. Advanced options, I'm not going to change anything. Just click on Create. If you okay with all these settings, click on Create.
it won't take much time just click on refresh see this is the machine name this is the internal ip and this is public ip again click on refresh wait and uh, yeah now instance state is running now click on this rdp or click on instance now click on set windows password this is the username if you want you can rename click on set so it is saying it is just created wait 10 minutes to be ready again click on set click on copy to clipboard then click on rdp here we, we have two methods to connect just click on this drop down after rdp click on download rdp file see rdp file has been downloaded click on this one click on this rdp click on connect provide the password password we can get the password from here click on set copy it paste here click on ok if you want to remember this one click on remember rather it is optional click on ok click on s see we have successfully connected to windows server 2029 which is hosted on gcp minimize this server manager click on start then open powershell then run winvar see we have installed windows server and its version is 2019 click on okay click on okay by default on desktop gcp installed google cloud sdk shell we can run customization by, by going to this cloud sdk close this one if you want to log off from this one just give command log off we will be come out of the machine close this one now go to machines see if you are not using any of these machines you have to select and click on this actions then click on stop if you stop this one then the cost will be less if you keep this running state google cloud will be charged based on the instance state if you don't want this vm anymore click on select delayed if you want to restart you have to click on this reset want to see the logs you have to click on this one see suppose i am not going to use this one just click on delayed it is asking confirmation i'm not deleting but google will be charged based on the uses so it is always recommended to stop instead of deleting so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to windows server 2019 instance on google cloud then we have seen different google cloud vm option for more google cloud on Windows server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.